In today's video, we're gonna tear down and review the ADC Bat 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Here we go. So one thing I really like about this battery is look at all this information on here. It's got probably just about as much information on, on the top here as it does in the book. Now this caught my eye right here, low temperature charging protection built in. I went ahead and tested this. I threw the whole thing in the freezer and then hooked it up to a charger and it worked. So we're good there. You can hook up to four of these batteries in series and in parallel. It says here, do not short circuit, do not disassemble. We're gonna break the rules today. And then it also has a list of features here from the BMS. Now, a few weeks ago, I did tear down their 16 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This turned out really well, uh, really good build. I'll leave that link up here in case you guys haven't seen that yet. Now I did do the capacity test on this and it turned out pretty darn good. So let's hop on the computer and check it out. So here's the discharge curve for that 100 amp hour ADC battery. And as you can see right here, we got 107 amp hours, which is fantastic. 100 amp hour battery, 107, pulled 107 amp hours. So great, great test there. Let's check out the Amazon listing. And this battery goes for 360 bucks. Now, one thing I did notice, they actually have two listings on Amazon for this battery. I'll leave a link to both. I'm not sure why they did that. As you can see, ADC power, ADC power. So it's the same seller. One's $10 more than the other. As far as I can tell, they're the same battery. So if this battery turns out to be one that I put on my recommendation list, I will make sure to leave links to both of these links in the comments and the video description and on my website, isopower.com. Let's get a wait for this guy. And this battery weighs 23 pounds, 11.3 ounces. So before we crack it open, let's do the short circuit protection test. This is a test that I feel very strongly about. Uh, I've come across a bunch of batteries that say they have it and ends up being they don't have it. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna short these terminals out. We're gonna get a, a reading here on the amp meter. My dog's snoring. Sam. So what we wanna see here is all zeros. We might get an initial burst of current, but then it should drop away really fast. Here we go. Well, actually welded itself to it. It did drop out. There's no current. It'll be interesting to see the playback, how much current we actually have, but you can see this, it welded itself to it. So it works. Oh man. Let's verify that it came back to life. Fourteen volts. Good to go. Let's crack her open. Let's blow the warranty. Here we go. I did nick a wire right here. That wasn't them, that was from me. We'll get that taped up real quick. Don't know what to make of that flashing light in there. You can see right there. So they sealed this up with super glue. It smells like super glue. And it was sealed very, very well. I don't know if I'd necessarily call it IP65, because so I see some, some gaps here and there in the glue. And it's not, it's not like a silicone. It's just like super glue. So one thing I notice here, you know, they're, they're pretty good about putting silicone wherever there's a screw. But on these uh, six negative terminals, there isn't any silicone. Not a, that, it's probably not a huge deal, but 
would have been nice to see some consistency. The balance lead cable is siliconed in. Let's see if I can get this guy out of here. The cells are packed in there nice and I got some cushion in there. Let's see what we got going on here. So they had this right over on top of these wires, um, which probably isn't a big deal, but the bigger deal is these zip tie tabs. That one's, yeah, they're sitting on top of the vents. You don't really want to obstruct your vents. So all these nuts have a lock washer, which is good. Nothing here is, is soldered up. It's all bolted down and secure. They do have separators between their cells. I'm really curious about that light. What is going on? I checked it, we have voltage. And it doesn't have, I've seen lights before with Bluetooth models. This one does not have a Bluetooth. I do like that they put this wire wrap around every wire all the way throughout their battery. Just to give a little bit of protection. This bolt right here is actually loose. They've got the nut silicone down right there, but it's not threaded up in there. Oh, this one's loose too. Look, that just came right out. It's not even threaded in into the BMS. This side looks like it's threaded. They just forgot to thread the other side in. If you have any ideas what these lights are, let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you have any theories. Maybe I'll try to put a charge up to it. See if they go out. don't go out but I do see a red one flashing right here when I hook the charger up to it maybe those lights are just always on I don't know no idea so they even wrapped up the so here's your temperature probe for your cold charging protection and they actually wrapped it up in, in wire wrap and slapped it against the battery, which is fine. I don't think I've ever seen, seen them wrap one in, in wire wrap before. So my thoughts about this battery, uh, I think it's okay. I think there's, I, I'm not as impressed with this one as I was with their 16 amp hour battery. Now, just because of a couple little things here, but the 100 amp hour I did a couple weeks ago, it's called a Power Queen. I think that was just a little bit better than this one. This is a 100 amp hour battery. It pulled 107, so that's great. Uh, short, short circuit protection worked. I really like all the information is laid out for you. I didn't find anything that didn't work. It was super glued down, so it was just a pain in the ass to get it off. Will this battery work for your trail motors? Sure, sure will. Uh, 12 to 48 volt up to four of them in parallel and maybe it was just a fluke that I had this one with a couple loose screws on the BMS they wouldn't have gone anywhere they just were not holding the BMS they had tape on one side silicone on the other so the nuts got not going not gonna go anywhere so it's not like those screws would have been rattling around in here the, the BMS just would have not been tightened down on both sides of this board 
which it probably would have been just fine. Um, it's just they didn't they didn't screw them in. It's a decent b battery pack, 360 bucks. Yeah, it's worth it. Now, I did see a 10-year warranty on the Amazon listing for this battery, and you don't really see that a whole lot with, with the Chinese companies. So overall, decent battery. If you're looking for a battery for your trolling motor, yeah, this one would work just fine. I'll leave links in the comments and, and in the description. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And then click on this video right here.